All right, all right. Here we are. We're back at We Play Games. This is this is Walker. This is the Vicky Three Academy. I want to do an, uh, an Ottoman Empire Tanzimat run. I I'm having I'm having fun with Komei, but I just I don't want to do it right now. I want to do I want to do Tanzimat. I've never done it before. I think it'll be interesting. So we could um, apparently Anbield has a uh, an AI that we could be using, but I want to simulate kind of just like what it'll be like for most people because most people are not going to be playing with Anbields because it's a mod and like if you want to make your content engaging with people you you can't you cannot make it be where it's on a mod that is going to make them play differently. Like if they have a different UI, I guess, but like it most mods are for like the point one percenters, right? Like I don't know how many percent of people actually play with mods. I I think Paradox does, and I guarantee you that like probably most people don't use mods. Probably I would I'd bet pretty good money on that. Um, and so I'm not gonna bother playing on on an, anything other than just whatever the highest difficulty is for for Paradox. I don't think the behavior is going to be different for a lot of the internal management uh, generation ones. But if you play this on like Anbields and you recognize like, nah, Walker, that's not going to work because this always does that. And then that always does that. Then like, just tell me I'm, I'm happy to be wrong. I am. I'm thrilled to be wrong. Cause when I'm wrong about something like that, it means I've learned so much while saving so much time. And that's why I'm here to speak to you today about the glory that is debug. Like don't, don't play a regular campaign without debug if you're just trying to learn stuff. Like, it's just a waste of your time. It is just a waste of your time. Do not do not ever try to do that. It's just a waste of your time. All right, so here we are. We're in the sick man of Europe because, like, something might break, right? Like, in, if you know how to use the console, then you can save a save. Like, you can you can recover a campaign, and then you, and then you haven't recorded half a campaign that you just lost because the save file broke and you forgot to back it up. Like... Just, just use console. Jesus Christ. Um, here we are. Sick man of Europe. The uh, great reform is needed. All right. So we have a bunch of stuff that we're going to have to work on. So the thing that I, I have put some thought into this one, not nearly as much thought as I have put into the Japanese one. Um, and so I'm, I am certain that some of the ideas that I'm going to show you in this video are going to be not good. They're going to be not good. And I want to make sure that you understand that they are going to be not good. So that way you don't like play this way in a month. Cause I'm, I'm going to play very badly. I'm going to make bad decisions. I'm going to do things in bad orders. Like it's going to, it's going to look terrible in comparison to, to where you can play. Um, and so just, this is more for my learning. And then you can just kind of like, follow along with the conversation that I'm going to have with myself while I try to learn the Ottoman Empire because I'm going to try to learn the Ottoman Empire just just about as hard as I can like that's that's my goal um and then and then you can you can do that too it's it, I guarantee you we can learn this game together it's not an impossible task it's very complicated it's I don't want to trivialize that it's very complicated this is easily the most complicated paradox game on release that I've ever seen it's not as complicated as like CK2 with all the the DLCs and stuff, I don't think. But like and, and, and EU4 definitely not. Um but like it doesn't matter. It does not matter. This is an incredibly deep game for a release state paradox game. And it's just cuz they put really good basic rule structures in. Um and those rule structures can be transferred around. So like this is uh this is a country, the Ottoman Empire. The Ottoman Empire in history uh right now we our ruler is Mahmoud II. So I remember in one of Wizards Wizards screenshots, I I think I know what happened to um I'm going to I'm going to take a guess at the end, but Mahmoud II was listed as a, a landowner slaver, which if you know who he is and you've read his Wikipedia article, you can say, "Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. That that clearly is not correct." And I I think it was clearly not correct, and I think it's because there was probably a default check so that way you like you could just like, you know, whatever, like it doesn't matter what the starting leader is it's whatever the highest cloud is. And I think that's what happened. I think it wasn't intentional. I don't think it was like they didn't think about Mahmoud II. I think it was just that, and I, I'm not gonna look in the code. So like, if you look in the code and you're like, Walker, you're an idiot, obviously it's not in there. The world doesn't look like that. But like, I, I suspect that that's a thing, that if you don't have a specific ruler, I suspect your ruler's starting ideology is like always your highest cloud thing. But it, whatever, that doesn't matter. That's not why you're here. Uh, we're talking about Mahmoud II. He's he's a reformer. He's the dude who got rid of the Janissaries uh, or the Janissaries or Janajaries, Janajaries. I got my books in, but I haven't read them yet, and so I this is not going to do justice to what I think is possible with the Ottoman Empire because I haven't I haven't even really set aside time to read them yet. Um, but I got I got my copies of stuff. I got I got my copies from from uh, from undergrad. 
But you have you have somebody here who's an intelligentsia. So that's great. That's A plus. Is there anything that you need the local governors for? I don't think so. I I really do not think so. Um, appointed bureaucrats as intelligentsia and petit bourgeoisie. That would make them angry, but not not indiscriminately angry. That's uh, yeah. That looks pretty good actually. So here I'm here to talk to you about petit bourgeoisie. I'm not gonna reroll stuff. I don't care that much. I have debug on in case something breaks. There are gonna be ways to like reroll this to make it a lot better. Because the th the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go to appointed bureaucrats. Um, I think that's gonna be good for us. And the reason I think that's gonna be good for us is because of bureaucratic reform, which is gonna say does not have hereditary bureaucrats enacted. That's okay. We can do that. We if we do this, then we do that. So that that seems like a natural thing to click for a normal person who's just like playing the game. And as it just so happens, that's actually also going to be really useful for anyone who's trying to like optimize a Tanzimat run. Um, cause that look at, that's a big deal. That is a big deal. The only reason that I don't recommend doing it in the Japan run is like, you just don't have time. You have so many things that you need to change and so many different resources at your disposal and you can't do trade. And so like the way you play as Japan is very differently. Um, I think the Ottoman empire should do a lot of trade. Um, I, when you were on the, the leak patch, I think the thing to do is just grab like a million, a million, a million treaty ports. Just all the treaty ports. You just get every treaty port because they all cost like two infamy and it doesn't matter. And you get ports on them too because the building comes with the treaty port. It comes with a treaty port. So like if I declare a treaty port thing against this guy, I'm not going to do it because he's a... And this is where like Walker, you could edit it there. I could. You're right. I could. I'm not going to. You could. If you want to edit this chat, you're allowed to. Like, just edit it in a way that you think makes sense to you. And if it makes you feel good, then share it with people. And you can use this channel. I don't, I really don't mind. If you, if you, if you, if you, if you think that you can make this into something coherent, then be my guest. I, I don't think I agree with you. I don't think I agree with you, but, but be my guest, be my guest. I will not be offended. All right, um, what are we doing? Jesus Christ, Walker, what are you doing? We are doing the Tanzimat reform. So we're just, we gotta do all this stuff. We gotta, like the Ottoman Empire is in rough shape and Mahmoud II, he's a great guy. He dies at 53 years old. That's pretty sad, but fortunately his son, um, Abdul Majid, he was, he was well prepared to do, to do good things. He's a good guy. They're both good guys. I'm really happy that there are rulers. They're very good characters. Rather than like complaining about how bad the characters, the starting character is in, in Japan, I really am just gonna like nonstop talk about how great it is to start with a, a an intelligentsia leader. Like that, this is gonna feel really powerful. I'm gonna feel very good about this because Mahmoud II is a total powerhouse. He's a great dude, um, and and I'm happy that he is intelligentsia. And and I apologize if I was if I was like ridiculously vocal about trying to make sure that he was not a landowner slaver it's just important because he's the leader of like a great power he can't be wrong that would be bad um all right so here we are we got we got this this initial movement we got a petit bourgeoisie and intelligentsia yeah, i think that's the right way to start this off because you're also probably going to want to just switch over to consumption based taxation it's not nearly as good as per capita so if we can get the tech for that maybe that's worth it um, if we did that, how mad would they be? Yeah, they wouldn't be that mad. I don't care about the trade unions either. They, they have zero points. So in order to get this, we need, uh, non-traditionalism. So I'm trying to plan out right now, um, not just the first law and then just go. This is going to really be me talking through my entire learning experience with you. I am, I am genuinely learning this right now, and I'm talking about the things that I think are important, but if you disagree and you and you can prove it, I will fold, because I, I I've never played this before. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just, I'm just talking about the things that I think are going to be good. I think, I think appointed bureaucrats is going to be good. I also think that generally dedicated police force is very good. Gen don't, Think about any of the text on this though with the thing that's most important about dedicated police force and it is most important and it's very good um is that you can do something that makes the the local governors happy without really costing you anything and that's important if you can make them happy without costing yourself anything then you can very very quickly build up the ability to just to rip their power apart 
And that's what the Komei thing's about. We used a character over there. Uh, I don't know if if you need that. I knew you needed that because I noticed that he was 125. Because I just I was like this this is insane. I wonder what 125 popularity does to a character and their and their their uh, the power of their party. And it's really good. It's really good. And I think popularity is a great mechanic. I don't know how it's supposed to work. I have absolutely no idea how it's supposed to work. Other than if your dude's really popular and other people are not, then other then everyone will like follow you around. And that makes sense, right? That's lore accurate. That is lore accurate. That's humans. Stamp it, seal it, send it. Uh this is gonna be this is gonna be kind of like a midway. So this is whenever this is here, usually that means I'm in the academy and it's gonna be kinda hard, hardcore. But I'm learning this for the first time and I just I don't wanna I don't wanna do that. I do not want to do that. So as the Ottoman Empire, as the Ottoman Empire, as a reforming, as a reforming thing, let's go ahead and set this. I think it is appointed bureaucrats. I, I'm pretty sure that's correct. I don't know. We'll find out. I'm pretty sure it is, though. We're also going to go ahead and just start suppressing local governors. Suppressing is an incredibly powerful ability. It's very, it's a wonderful use of authority. It's, it's an A plus use of authority, in fact. Um, intelligentsia is going to get kind of happy about that that's good i th i think because we're going to be mostly trying to tax aristocrats we're gonna all right so this is what i talked about in my ui thing i'm not going to tax grain here because it's not because we can't afford it again i think the thing that determines whether or not you can actually no we couldn't afford it anyway because that's a negative balance you don't want to be taxing grain when you're at negative balance that's that's it's not just inhuman it's also ridiculous it's ridiculously inefficient. Do not waste your authority if your if your grain is anything other than like a peasant economy. Um, but if it's a, if it's peasants, you can do that. Services in sin is what I recommend because it's it just taxes pops. It taxes pops that you just like you want to take money away from. It does what you want what you want to do. It does exactly what you want to do, and it takes money and therefore clout away from the pops who you hate, and that's that's good. I think that's good. I don't know if long term we want to use tobacco here because the the other thing about consumption taxes i'm going to talk about this in every single video so like just scrub i'm not, I, I cannot be bothered to add uh little timestamps. if you're watching this and there's a timestamp thing that you want to use go for it you can start putting timestamps in the comments that's okay that's fine but like i want to i want to make sure that everyone who's watching this learns something and and if the people at home don't don't understand how consumption taxes work that's okay i'm going to teach you right now um, so this is just like the government saying to everybody, all right, now if you buy a service, you have to pay a little bit of extra money. And all these pops are going to rabble and they're going to get mad about it. But like, that's their own goddamn, that's their own fault. They don't have to buy them. They don't. They could buy other stuff. Um, and they don't. They choose not to. They choose to buy the thing that they are used to rather than the thing that is now economically efficient. So just like, I don't know. They like, I don't want to talk to them. Don't leave. Just like. Oh, you probably need, you probably need some technology here. I think, I think line infantry is very good. It's a huge upgrade in terms of your, of your combat effectiveness, which again, that's in here. That's in your develop, development tab for built for uh, buildings. I think that's a, the easiest way to get to this and you can do the whole thing and you can look everything there and you can go like this and everything there. Um, I, you know, it's what you can do. It's also possible that you should um that you should re-roll this until you get uh yeah you know what maybe, maybe let's see if intelligentsia ends up being pacifist if we kill him that might be all right or the petty bourgeoisie if petty bourgeoisie was pacifist that might be all right uh oh he endorses national guard anyway wait do you also endorse National Guard? This is where I'm just not using the user interface well and you all are suffering with me, but sorry, I've been playing the game for five days. Like that's that's the experience you're getting here too. And so I, I wanna I wanna see like what sort of things that I actually like know how to do and what sort of things I don't know how to do. Cause they're gonna be things that I'm gonna that that you're gonna know how to do that I do not know how to do, because I'm an idiot and I just like I can't stop playing the game to read stuff about how to play it. I just I don't I, I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to stop. You cannot stop me. Don't build here. Wait. Should you? I don't know. I My recommendation, build in your capital. That's always good. Find a source of coal. 
find a good source of coal there's a there's a 32 all right we could you know we could speed this along we don't have to do it this way walker there there's a a much 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 better experience for both you and the viewers at home you can go this way um and then you do castamonu that's up there that's okay i wouldn't mind building there that's a lot of peasants is there anything in there that would make me not want to build there or in there that would make me not want to build there like a state thing that would be okay if there was a state thing then that would be all right uh it's i don't care about taxation capacity i just don't it's not important when you're taxing peasants in fact it's humane to not have um tax capacity when you're taxing peasants just leave them alone they've they suffered enough uh yeah we can do customer that's fine all right so we'll do here and then we'll do here and then we need a source of iron um ooh, ooh. And the reason that I'd say you're probably going to need three build, three locations is because you really do need coal, you really do need wood, and you really do need iron. The other resources, I don't know, you can you can kind of figure it out. I like there are absolutely ways to do this better than I do. I I have not been playing very long, but I just can't stop, and I and I hope that that's okay. And if you're not watching, I'm not offended. I wouldn't watch either. I just, I have to, to make sure that the, that the audio is there. I guess we could do Northern Thrace. I wouldn't mind doing that. That would be a lot of concentration right here, but that's just like very low infrastructure is the problem. So I, I want this to the, just like from a user interface standpoint to just be a little cleaner without having to mass around like this all the time to find like where I could build a bunch of iron. Fortunately, Albania actually is probably okay because that's a lot of infrastructure and that's a lot. The 24 is fine. I don't need more than that. It really does. Yeah, it's it's totally okay. So yeah, we'll do here. We'll do here. We'll do Albania. That's so that's the plan. I don't know if that's correct or not, but I don't care. I just want to start. I just want to start. All right, decrees, road maintenance on capital, on capital, um, wood. Construction sectors, that's okay. Whole bunch of logging camps. Is there a giant logging camp? That would also be useful. Because if there's like a 40 stack of wood, I want to see it. No. Because stat wood wood is also a really, really, really good uh, resource at, at, at really at every point in the game, but especially the beginning of the game. It's not Albania, because I didn't know that Eastern Thrace had iron. I could have checked that. I could have saved you some time. But, like, I don't know. If you're watching this, you don't You don't want me to. You don't want me to. If you're watching this, you do not want me to. You want me to stumble through it. Because um, it, it's going to make you happy to see me suffer. I promise. Uh, what do we... Right, that was the iron. Jesus Christ. You can't, you, you, you stopped, your brain stopped paying attention and your mouth started paying attention. You can't do that either. Like, I'm trying to help you, Walker. I'm trying to give you useful advice. I, I've been talking to a lot of content creators recently and I love them and I, I hope that they know that I do respect them. It's just like, I can't, I can't, I cannot be bothered to do what they do. They put effort into different things that I do. And that's okay. I hope they. I hope that everybody's okay with that, because I'm okay with that. I do. I do different things. Not everyone has to do the same stuff. That's all right. Um, maybe it's southern Serbia. I don't. Jesus, <laughs> this is the. This is one of the worst videos I'm ever gonna record. It's absolutely southern Serbia. Whoa! Look at that motherload of resources. So I just did a bunch of scouting. I know that might have been boring to some of you, but I really have never played the Ottoman Empire. That's not a lie. It's not a lie. I've never played this before, and I just wanted to find um, resources. And I discovered that oh, holy crap! Southern Serbia is really, really rich. If you've never played a country before, it's a, it, there is absolutely no shame whatsoever, whatsoever, to experimenting. And like, if you wanna, if you wanna do some some re rolls and stuff, do it. If you think like, oh, this is something where it would make a big difference, do it. I'm not gonna re roll this. I don't. I don't care. It's not a serfdom roll. I. It's. It doesn't matter. Um, but like, I. If you wanna do it, do it you'll learn a lot that way and by being stuck up about debug i think you're making yourself learn worse i think i think i think you're making yourself learn insanely slowly which which will slow down your growth which 
I don't care what that's patch agnostic growth is the best thing you can build it's the best thing you can build always I don't even care if it's December 1936 that never stops being true <laughs> it doesn't matter if the game's over it doesn't matter you like it's it's always good to build growth it's probably okay to stop building growth and like 1928 or something i don't know i'm not doing that math i'm never stopping and if it costs me a game because i'm an idiot that's fine i don't care it like i'm not gonna do it because because i want to i want to see my face peel off i want to feel the wind uh gee yeah this is extremely low quality let's go um right so we're working on the petit bourgeoisie in this campaign i think is going to be the goal because the petit bourgeoisie, they've, they're going to come with this bureaucracy bonus, and that's going to help. Because we're going to need bureaucracy in this. We are, I promise we're going to need bureaucracy in this, because we might end up needing to do uh, religious schools. I don't know. We're not ending protectorate. I didn't even do any diplomacy. Uh, yeah, Walker, you are the dumbest person in the universe. Just, just the dumbest. You could do, you can do so much better than this. I'm not going to. I refuse to and and if that means you're not ever going to watch one of these speedrun videos that's okay you don't have to they're going to be three hours long and there's going to be a lot of dead like there's going to be a lot of noise and it's going to make people crazy but that's okay i don't mind making people crazy it's it kind of comes with like who i am it's i want to say it's part of my charm um <laughs> I, I'm going to decrease taxes here, and the reason is exactly for one reason, and only exactly one reason, but it's a very good reason. It gives you legitimacy, and that's, like, really important when you're trying to do law work, and we don't, we just don't have a lot of legitimacy, and, because these, these factions aren't big yet. They're, they will, they will get big, but they are not big yet. <sighs> walker, 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 walker. You, you cannot do this. You cannot do this. This is so stupid. This is just, this is just awful. You know what? I don't, I don't care if I have to break this into two episodes. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna break this into as many episodes as I want to, because it's my YouTube channel. I, that's the other thing is that like I, they're right. Every, every single person has told me the exact same thing, which is like, why well, just like, just stop, edit your videos, cut them up, make them shorter, tell a narrative, and like I just, I think the people who watch this are watching it for exactly the viewer experience that I like to watch it. I do the, I, I'll like recheck the audio and I'm like, yep, I'm still a, I'm still a goddamn lunatic. All right, cool. Ship it. And that's, that's the, that's the, that's the thing. That's all I'm looking for. I don't, I'm not looking for anything else. And so some of the episodes are going to be better than the other ones and that's okay. That's fine. I'm not looking to make the best content in the universe. I like, I'm looking to have fun and to put, and to put as as little burden on on myself in regards to promotion as possible because i'm just not going to do it right and i i'm never going to learn how to do it right and uh and i that's okay too like great everyone everyone's okay everything's great this is the best i love everybody i'm gonna pause this and then i'm gonna pick up the the uh the i don't know this i'm not gonna call this a tutorial this is absolutely not a tutorial this is a, this is me learning the ottoman empire as someone who's entirely new to it and it's going to take me forever because when i when i learn things i really i tear them apart right i play legos and i think that's helpful i do think that's helpful um because the more that you think initially the less you have to later and the the more that you understand up front the more you can understand when weird things happen and i think that that's one of the things that's beautiful about this game is that like the learnings that you can bring from one campaign to another, they're not always the same. And so some of the things that you're going to learn are going to be useful always, and some of them are not. Um, and and But one of the things that I think is going to be useful always is that if you have a powerful landowner group, I think you don't wait um, for industrial intelligentsia to support to, to grow most of the time. Because in order to grow those things, you're going to need to build the buildings that hire the pops that are associated with those most of the time. And that's just going to be slower than going through petit bourgeoisie and getting getting rid of powerful landowners is good. But but it's it's only impo it's only good if there's like a payout, right? The payout for the Ottoman Empire is going to be the Tanzimat reform stuff, and that's going to be really good. It's the same thing over in Japan, right? You get rid of the, the shogunate and you get a new ruler, and he's not associated with the shogunate, and that's really good. And... and and that's 
and that's like that's why i think trying to do fast removals on landed gentry is useful not just like as an experimental thing but also just like as a gameplay thing i think it's useful because like they're bad and and i think the more people who remove them earlier the more people will agree that it's just good to remove them earlier like it just get them out of the way they're not useful for you they prevent you from doing fun things maybe maybe doing like racist stuff is fun to you but then like i don't want to talk to you i don't need to know who you are if you if that's interesting content i don't like that and if you like that don't do not like and subscribe because i'm not going to do it like i could do a csa run and just like demolish some uh some infrastructure and then build some agriculture like some cash crops or whatever because like cotton's sort of a cash crop whatever it doesn't matter so uh, my point being that like it, it's not that hard to come up with a way to create a giant csa but i'm not going to do it because i don't want to do that that sounds dumb um and so like just watch whatever i'm doing and if you're like this is this is insane and i cannot stand it anymore that's okay me too but if you're like, this is the greatest and I can never stop, that's okay. Me too. 